Tonight, an inside look into the world of virtual and augmented reality in the operating room. Right now, doctors at Mayo Clinic are using augmented reality during surgeries to help assist with some of the most complex procedures they perform. Team 12's Michael Doudna got an up-close look at the technology and what it could mean for the future. When it comes to surgery on the spine or skull, every inch, every millimeter counts is there's a lot of really important vital structures, nerves, blood vessels, organs, that with x-ray you don't see. With small dissections and surgery you don't see. So to get a clearer picture, Mayo Clinic neurosurgeon Mazir Kalani turned to augmented reality to help with a surgery in May. But when you overlay the entirety of the anatomy on the patient, you're able to see those. So that really drives up the safety. So to see exactly how this works, Dr. Miles Hudson let me try out the tech while walking me through what I was seeing. Here is the joint, in the middle is the lamina. The augmented reality takes 2D scans and creates a 3D model. When overlaid on an actual patient, it allows you to see through the skin, bone, and tissue to know exactly where you're operating. What's fantastic about this technology is you would be able to see this in real time. So you can turn it on and off as you're looking down at the patient's spine. So you would see this view in the surgery of the patient's spine, and with a click of a button, now the overlay is right there and you know exactly where you need to go. Last month marked the first time this technology was used for a spine surgery in Arizona but it's already been in use for years by Mayo Clinic brain surgeons. And we can show the patient this is the exact hole we're planning on making. These are the things we're trying to avoid. These are the piece of anatomy we want to make sure we preserve. What you see now is a 3D model of a tumor and a past patient that they showed in virtual reality. Where you can actually see the tumor, if you want to fly back up to it, is being nestled in those motor fibers. With virtual reality, he says it helps patients and physicians visualize the procedure while the augmented reality part helps surgeons successfully remove the tumor during an operation. This was a tumor that, that years ago would have been considered inoperable. And that's the hope for the future, that augmented and virtual reality will provide a new perspective for doctors and patients, leading to less invasive procedures and better outcomes for all. Michael Doudna, 12 News.